All right, transition time. Transition into to his Bears favorite talk. team. Yeah, to his yeah, yeah. Transition to his favorite team. Bears talk here. So, um, well, you know, first we're gonna we're gonna dive in the. Do you yeah, want, if I'm gonna take this over, go ahead. I don't go know. ahead. Go ahead. We're gonna take it's over some you. some Mitch Trubisky talk because uh, he was at the Bulls game uh, last night or two nights ago, and uh, he was approached, had an interview. Um, it was real off the cuff, um, talking about the acquisitions of obviously a Rob and um, Taylor Gabriel, Gabriel and. Uh, talking with about Matt Nagy because there hasn't been a lot, which I've been kind of surprised about. There hasn't been a lot of Mitch Trubisky, Matt Nagy talk. Oh, opposed yeah. to uh, like are you talking about like media wise, I, and, and not just that. I mean, obviously, like there's been when Nagy was signed, there was a lot of talk yeah. about um, his relationship with Mitch Trubisky, but you haven't really gotten a lot of takes from the mouth of both of them. Oh yeah, absolutely. So well, I thought especially that, like, for Mitch, Mitch is a yeah, Mitch. Well, Mitch has been working out a yeah, lot. He's he, one of those dudes, though, man, that are like. Under the radar, which I love. Yeah, I like as, it too. As a it's not like talk. that's what that's why. Well, I want. our last real quarterback was with uh, Chris and Cavallari, so you know what he right, was he doing was all the time. You know where he was. You get can to you see, blame him? You get to see his bare ass on her Instagram. Can you blame him? I wish I had a tight ass like that. <laughs> Jesus, go ahead. So we're gonna we're gonna dive into Mitch Trubisky. He obviously, uh, was approached at this uh, this Bears game, and he had a lot of things to say about the new acquisitions. And uh, Rich Campbell wrote this on Chicago Tribune. Um, talking about, I'm just going to read a couple excerpts that Mitch uh, Trubisky said regarding the uh, the new offense and a lot of things coming in. That's a good uh, article. It's actually a really good article. It by is. The way. Dude, I'm going to plug it just because I know that you know, as a Bears fan, you should look out and read it. And there's a lot of things from this that I think gives like the you know the bird's eye view of what what's going to be next year for right. the Bears. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And uh, he says, "Can't wait. It's going to be a very explo- It's going to be very explosive." I'm assuming that was asked about the offense. Um, we're going to see a lot more uh, run run pass options. Can't we're going to see a screen game, uh, get the ball out quick, and we're going to uh, do some deep shots. Everything that I'm good at that you've seen at North Carolina and some stuff we even ran last year, which kind of we're going to kind of just we're going to as as we as we go here we can you know address each each comment here. Mitch Trubisky sounds really excited, which is like, great. Which and, and if you listen to the interview, I don't. I'm not sure if this was actually from the interview or this was like kind of off the off the camera. But listening to the interview, Mitch Trubisky seems ready. Like, and all these guys are working out together and ready to go. And it's really interesting Isn't that he and Kelly with Kevin White in them. He was with Kevin White. Uh, Taylor Gabriel was walking around. Uh, Soldier Field with his or Hallis Hall with his jersey, with the, with his I jersey saw on, yeah, yeah. Um, which I thought was hilarious. I love that they see something in that kid, though. Right, it, and a couple I mean, established receivers see something in him, which is awesome. And they were talking, um, uh, they were talking the other day about Mitch Trubisky. Uh, Ch- Chase Daniels was talking about how they had studied a lot of the quarterbacks in the league. Um, who were doing a lot of this run pass option type, type stuff, and the Bears run a, ran a little bit of it last year, towards the end. And Chase Daniels was saying how impressed he was with Mitch Trubisky and how his skill set really fits this offense. And I think it's it's kind of like opening the door without um, Matt Nagy coming. You can really see why Matt Nagy chose to be here, right? Because I mean, at the end of the day, if you look at Mitch Trubisky's skill set. He could throw the ball deep. He's great on the run. He is a guy who could walk up and identify a defense. It's basically like an untapped potential type thing. Right. It's like when you see it this is. for Nagy's purpose and in his agenda is like you see, okay, if I go to Chicago, I know I have this kid that I've been I've looked at that can be the real deal. I'm not saying he is now, right. but he can be with development become the real deal. And and you know what, dude. As we've gone on, as we've talked about the Bears, and unfortunately, like, if you guys want an argument show, it's not going to happen here because we usually agree with everything about the Bears because, like, we're just so – it's not well, – This isn't this isn't pessimistic. first take. Yeah, right. I'm, at the end of the day, we're going to talk Chicago Bears, and if we – you we, might get those times during oh, we, the year. We disagree me, a lot. We do. But, um, but you're not going to get that here because we – there's there's a lot of times that we take the, the obvious look at, at sports and that's that's what this show is going to be a I lot feel that of but Nagy really came Nagy here is because Trubisky shows the quality of this kid can win me games no matter who I put in front of him. A Rob and Gabriel are, are are a plus. Cohen and Howard are a plus. Um, Shaheen and um, Burton are going to be pluses. 
But who knows with this kid? Maybe he makes, um, you know, give me a third, a fourth receiver here, Bellamy. Maybe he makes Bellamy with a full year really working with well, a, a That's another a, a thing we can dive in at the end of here because we're going to talk a lot about free agency. And right. Well, I'm just saying, like, next. nobody superstars but, like Brady and, and Aaron Rodgers have right. done. Right. Absolutely. I mean, there's there's been a lot and of— And I'm not saying Josh Bellamy, you're nobody. I'm, you, no, it's— uh, That's not what I'm saying, but you're not— I'll say it. Go ahead. Okay. He's a nobody. You suck. No, but, like, we'll we'll dive in some more of the interview here. I'm going to read another excerpt Right. From Go it. ahead, man. I love um, this. We're just going to do more of it. We're going to get the ball out to our playmakers in open space and just hide the ball, play action, more flashy stuff in the backfield to hide the ball. It's not going to be run right at you. It's going to be more tricky stuff. Which I love that. This, this is the that one, one expert ex- that I, yeah. I highlighted. Yeah. Because I said, never in my Bears life. And these guys, the, the guys who have Our watched the team. Bears life. You know, the guys who have watched the team longer than we have, comment below. But have you seen a coach that is going to take this skill set and use the word tricky? Because you know that these two have talked. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, Are you serious? He's, he's obviously gotten the playbook. He's going to utilize the hell out of this. He's, he's gotten the playbook. So Tr- Trubisky's looking at it this offseason going, we're going to run this. This is tricky. Right. You know, so you're going to see, obviously, we watched um, last year that they had the um, the two-point conversion play on, on the goal line there where uh, Mitch Trubisky actually, they, they, they like, Lateral the ball a couple times. Oh yeah, absolutely. And they, then you they, saw they in the Super Bowl, with you saw in the Super Bowl them. that you know, um, with the Eagles, they threw that off the Burton through to uh, Nick Foles, right, in the end zone. I'm looking for things like that. And I want. I, I want to have the I, smartest. I think I we're going to see smartest stuff. mind. Right. I really like. We're going to see stuff like that. And as a Bears, I'm, fan, I'm convinced. As a Bears fan, if you look at like what they have defensively, they're going to be able to take chances like that because if the defense is truly what it was last year, still top ten, so. and if it's going to get better, because I think throughout the draft they're going to address depth. I, right. I have at, a few people written down here too. At, so and that's a, a, we'll, we'll get in at right. eight. I think that we're going to. Um, Look more into what this is going to be, um, picking wise, and we can dive deeper into it in another pod. But oh, absolutely! If it, if they would like to see maybe a Bears mock pod, we, we could definitely two, three, do you know like or like uh, rounds round one, one through, seven. through seven. I we don't have a third, but still rounds one through seven. If you guys want to see a mock pod, let us know. We'd love. I mean, we'd damn, love to do it. We'd love to dive into that. That'd be something that'd be really, really, really fun for us. Like, I yeah. mean. Because we're both, and I think we've kind of planned it. We're probably just going to do it. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. Honestly, if you don't want to see it or not, we're still going to do it. But, but if yeah, you, to, like to dive into the whole thing, I'm really happy that like tricky is like going to be something in the play. Yeah, in the Bears me too. Playbook because me too. I've never been more excited for an offense. Minus, I, I was excited when they, excuse me, when they had Tressman and they had the two beasts on the outside, and we all looked at Matt Please Forte. Let me as elaborate this. on that. But no, and we will just give me one second. Okay, I'll, I'll and like I was excited about that, but I think I'm more excited for Mitch Trubisky and RPOs and tricky. We think it's going this way. We're but going, it's going this that way, way, right? Then I am Absolutely. about hey, I'm going to throw the ball deep up to these two guys who are six five, right? Like, and and the Bears have a guy in that now that they they just signed hey, in free Rob. agency, but like, it's not going to be dead right at you as he said. It's. Football is – it's going to be – I think you're going to see a lot more east to west. It's intellectual. You're going to see a lot of two running back sets. You're going to see a lot of two tight end sets. Can you wait for but that? No, I can't because I've never seen that I before. can't wait till you and I, we go, man, we, bring our, we go bring our stupid burgers. We go bring our hot dogs. We have our beer. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Kyle and I love going to games. Me and Juice, we go to games. We interact with everybody. We bring the bag set. We bring the washer set. We have a fun time. I guarantee you the first game we go to this year – as much as I love it, I ain't drinking. It down. I, I'm putting it down. I want to see what this team is really gonna do. And where I wanted to elaborate off of you're talking about Trustman is a few. I mean, a few comments that came to us, which again we are so grateful. Keep commenting, no matter what. But I mean, we like I said, we want to interact with you. We want to be different. I don't want to be that YouTube channel. I don't want to be that that iTunes podcast. I don't want to be that Twitter that where you you know ask us a question and then you're like, okay, well, I just wasted ten seconds of my day because they never answered me. Right. I don't remember your name, but I remember you said you know you've been a fan since 1978 and we don't know what we're talking about. And that that could be the absolute case for sure. But exactly what he just said, I guarantee you're excited about Trustman. I guarantee it. 
We've been excited we were, so many times. Were. Well, I was talking to the fan too. No, I'm just saying, like as a fan, we all were. We excited all were to excited, excited about Tressman. Like, Shit, I was excited. You don't about, lie about it and say that you knew he was going to be a bust because we know you're lying. Yeah, we know you're lying. And I'm going to be honest, a hundred percent honest with you. You know who else I was excited about? The greatest show on turf. I was excited about Mike Martz, Kurt Warner, Isaac Bruce. You know, um, yeah, they never had the skill set to Torrey really Smith. run what they wanted to right, run there. Right, but I was but... still excited as a fan about it. The reason right. I don't go over the top now is because I've been let down so many times. But I feel in my heart that something is different this year. Something feels good. Something feels right. I'm older than I was when those guys came over. I'm more experienced. Me and Kyle have been going to Bears games since we were little kids. My old man, you know, I love him to death. Bears season ticket holder since 1984. He bought... The year we went and did our thing, you know, 85, 86, he is a season ticket holder. That's when he was approved was in 84, 85 season. He's, you know, he has witnessed it. Kyle and I, me and Juice, Buzz that's and all, Juice. That's all we got. That's all that's we, all we, we have to left. see. And then we could die happy sports fans. Obviously, I got a kid on the way. I cannot die. But as a happy <laughs> sports fan, like we got this banner here with the White Sox. Kyle, like I told you, we... Juice is ordering the Cub one. one We're gonna get right there. We got the Bulls one. I don't have a Blackhawks one. We like hockey. We're just both, you know, they're pretty expensive, man. And then we have the Bears one, and that is the only one. I gotta actually do have a Hawks banner over there, but that's the only one. That's all I gotta see. That's all we have to see. And I'll tell you something right now. Like to everybody, this year is so crucial because obviously, I'm not saying we're gonna win a Super Bowl. No, I'm not either. I don't. I don't even. And then go back to the pot. I don't think we're gonna make the playoffs. No, I don't think we're gonna make Next playoffs. Year, I don't either. think we're gonna make the playoffs. But I think we're gonna show tremendous potential, and I think we're gonna show that we're gonna be a team to reckon with for years for to years come. to come because we're gonna have that guy who's gonna teach our quarterback right how to be this beast in his system and, and because again, he's he's been waiting for a guy like this right because. As much as he liked Alex Smith over there, Alex Smith could not throw the deep ball. No. And going into the, the article, oh, you yeah. read can it. You, can you read that for everybody? He says real quick? that Alex. I think it's maybe in the other. It's not. Oh, it's in the other one. one. It's in a different article, but he was. He said that me and Alex have the same kind of skill set. Mitch that, said this, by the way. And, and Mitch Trubisky said this that um, he's able to throw the deep ball, which me and Brad both, when we read that, we're like, dude, Alex Smith doesn't throw the ball farther than 15 yards. Not very accurate down downfield. Obviously makes plays with his feet, like Mitch. Right. Very accurate, like Mitch. Going to be able to walk up and identify a defense, like, like Mitch. Mitch. Right. So when you look at it, yes, a lot of the things, the skills, the, the the traits make sense. But Alex Smith can't throw the deep ball. He's he's not a guy who likes to do that. You know, and and obviously Alex Smith's made a huge career for himself. Right. Doing a lot with his feet, and you know, being that guy who doesn't turn the ball over, which Mitch. As, as bad as his team was last year, <laughs> we were not good. Was pretty good with turnovers. I thought, yeah, going into it, he would be a lot worse being a, a rookie quarterback and a guy who only had ten starts at North Carolina. But he really did um, impress me with his ball security. Um, but yeah, so that that's a great article. I'd plug it in. There's more that we could read off of it. He says he's going to throw the deep ball. He's going to get the ball out quick. He's going to be mobile. But we've kind of we've hit it on those things. There's you know one that, thing that I'd like to bring up to you. We're, we might go a little over the hour, not much, but we I, there's one thing I want to bring up to you about defense for us. I mean, obviously, I got like you know the no, fact that's that, the thing. Like we've we've as free agents, we've already addressed a lot of the offensive problems right. going into this year. We have a tight end that they like to get in open space in Burton. You know they have this outside throw. Brett now and Allen Robinson, they've kind of shored the uh, inside slot position with Taylor Gabriel. Right. Um, and we're going to kind of dive into the defensive side of it and, and maybe a little bit of offense because there are some remaining free agents out there that I think me and um, Buzzweed both agree that maybe might be decent fits for the Bears at the right price. And, and that's the thing, at the right price. There's only these. one I really want to bring up to you. And... Uh, Obviously, I think we need another pass rusher. I, uh, you Agreed. know, but I'm not going to get into. That. We'll get into that next podcast. We'll actually get into that also, like closer to preseason and stuff like right. that. We'll as, co- as we know more and more of what's going to be available, available, and what we're and, doing. But there's one guy I want to ask you. I, I'm going to start it off with like a simple question, then I'm going to dive into the actual question. So, like, are you sold on Adrian Amos? Because I'm sold on Eddie Jackson. Are you sold on Adrian Amos? If if a present if a player presentates himself at eight. 
presents himself at sorry presentate that sounded terrible presentate yeah see it's, it's hashtag been a couple, presentate it's been a couple uh, over seven percenters here we're getting burgers after right and no I if a guy presents himself at eight that is a pure upgrade over Adrian Amos I'm I'm fine for that can I ask you a, a free agent that might be an upgrade over Adrian Amos sure go ahead okay. This 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 podcast has nothing to do with anything political, by the way. All right, so just so everybody knows, it never will bring, be. We're not going to bring up never, politics. Me and him will, will never ever never say who talk. we vote for, and never. So go ahead and I don't shut vote. it off. Right, exactly. So, um, Eric Reed, I'd be okay with it. Okay, so see, so would I, and I, that's the thing. I mean, it's I like, don't. He is twenty six years old. See, I was 26. thinking more. Like Fitzpatrick at eight. Oh, at I love Mickey point. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, but and I think that he's a, him more with, of a corner him with safety. Jackson though, he's more of a because corner, they though. played together. Right, would have that um, be on that same wavelength. If he's together. not there, I don't think Denzel but, Ward, Denzel Ward's from Ohio State is a, a corner and, and very very good. By the good way, player. Fitzpatrick's also a corner, but Eric Reed is twenty six year years old. He's a Pro Bowler, and I know they don't mean sh- a lot in the NFL. <laughs> People decline to go to the Pro Bowl every year, but. Eric Reed kind of got the raw end of a stick in my mind. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you are. If you're going to win me football games, guess what? Him and I, we pay to go to these football games. If you're going to win us football games, Eric Reed is is something that I think next to Eddie Jackson with Amos coming in off, you know, when they need to rest, playing either free or, you know, or strong. I think that can be something. And I, I could see it. I, I wanted to, and, and I'll counter. I think that EJ Gaines is a better fit at corner mm-hmm. for the Bears. Okay, and you you keep or you draft Minka Fitzpatrick. Or what do you think about Denzel Ward? No, I no, love Denzel. Ward. I, He's a hard hitting guy, and, and he can cover. I would rather have Jeff, and we said this on the last podcast. Yeah, Josh, I Jackson. Want Josh Jackson from because I, I I want as much ball hawk guys as I can. Because last year the Bears only had eight interceptions. Well, you know T New Rasai. And like and I know that like looking at the defense, like they were being attacked in a different way mm-hmm. because obviously the offense couldn't score. So it was to me, a lot of the offenses were more conservative. Right. Than they were because they were trying not to turn the ball over, give short uh, short field to the Bears a lot more. You know, they were willing to punt and play the field position game because they knew they weren't driving down the field. Right. I get it. But I want ball hawk guys because I think that the defensive line, while we need some depth, was a lot better than we look at it last year. Right. And I know they lost a little bit on it going into free agency. Um, but. I felt like we got a decent amount, a decent enough pressure from Hicks, from Leonard Floyd when he was on the field, from Goldman, um, Trevathan. You know, even when he was I, in, right? And I mean, I know Pernell McPhee is he, gone. Bye. But but when he was on the field, he was getting pressure on right. the outside. Is when he was um, coming from the outside. I just I want guys who are going to turn the ball over. I want right. to go back to that Bears. Mike Brown defense. Those 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 defenses when Lovey was here, uh, when it was yeah. like we're gonna get three turnovers a game. Remember Mike Brown and, and Mike we're gonna Green. give our offense three more shots. Remember the color Mike's? Absolutely. Mike Brown and Mike Green. Absolutely. Uh, Mike Bears Brown, were. Mike Green. Mike Brown, I met him actually. I also met whoa, Mike whoa, Green. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just those dudes signed my hat, and at the same time, it's at my dad's house. He won't give it to me because he's a douchebag. <laughs> but you get one douchebag. Awesome. The color Mike's man. Mike Green. Mike Brown. Not skin color. Whatever. That's their last names like that. Those guys are so – I would love to see a defense like that. And with, you know, our linebacking core, I'm still a fan of. I love Floyd. I love Trevathan. I don't care what any Chicago fan says. Kayakowski played some badass games last year. Right. And we just resigned Team New today. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that if we can land a Mika Fitzpatrick or a Denzel Ward to be that third – corner see but i don't think that or josh jackson that's that's kind of going into like the whole draft here though i don't oh right i'm just saying that it's tough to it's tough to the bears have done enough in free agency to be flexible at eight right like that's the cool thing and i know that's a that's like so i think going into this draft they're going to try to be as flexible as they can right and they're going to evaluate by who they think is a better player they're not going to evaluate by by need here I think we'll I think we'll dive more into that too once draft time comes. I'm just I'm saying that there's so many things that we can do to have a top five offense and a top five defense, and you guys know what that means. That means we're coming, and I'm still a firm believer 
that this year we're going eight and eight or nine and seven. I will pick. I'll lock See, in I right took now. The under on that. I'll I took lock seven in. Seven and nine. I'll lock in it's right tough, now. It's a tough schedule. Right. It's a very tough schedule. But I'm locking in right now at nine and seven for the Chicago Bears. I hope to God I'm proven wrong, and maybe for this 26 year old kid here who's doing a podcast for everybody to listen to, I will be proven wrong. So I get more optimism, more hope behind my heart because I'm sick of losing. I agreed. I'm, I'm sick of losing. Boat. I'm sick of going to games and sitting there. In the sub below money. temperature, yeah, the exactly. Money is just so and, and, high and to go. And I'm not even drink about it because I, I will, I love every second of being I there. I have fun, but like the extra cost that comes with. I'm just the saying, whole, before we parking, were 20, the beer, the, before we were even 21 though, and we could drink there. Come on, man, four dollars for a water, right? Like six dollars for a pop. Well, we're 16 year old kids, 17 year old kids, and yeah, do we have a little bit of a silver spoon in our mouth? Growing up, not really. Neither of us, but our. Our dads made, you know, good decisions. I didn't have goddamn air conditioning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I had bear season, t- you know, bear season tickets, you know. That's that's a- sacrifice. Well, I'll tell you what. We lived in a one-bedroom trailer. <laughs> and my dad had Bulls tickets during the Jordan era, Bears tickets during the, uh, you know, during all of it. Still maybe to this day. Maybe that's where they get that meth head comment. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But, I just um, like messing with you. Anyway, like we really want to see this team do good. So please do not take do. us giving this team a bad record as we're enemies towards the Bears. No. We are the biggest Bears fan you'll ever meet. We live, breathe, we love that. We go, we have fun. That's all I got left we to see. We spend money on it. That's all we need left to see is is that. But uh, those are my things this year, man. I, I really hope the Bears can inf- improve defensively again. I mean, not that they need to. They're top 10. That's great. But – if you get a top five defense and that offense comes clicking with Nagy and Helfrich at the helm, and that's another yeah. big thing. Nagy and Helfrich, Helfrich ran one of the fastest offenses in the world at Oregon. Mm-hmm. And then you got Nagy, who obviously we saw what he did with KC. We we have the opportunity here to make something special happen. I think the happen. coolest thing for Mitch Trubisky, and if hands. I were Mitch Trubisky, I am surrounded by people who are quarterback whisperers, essentially. I am surrounded by people who are successful – with running offenses who are going to put me in situations to succeed. And the head coach that I have is he came here based on my skill set. And that so there is no And how flattering is that though? No, that's that's huge. When he ha, when he does this inter, this interview and he is so damn excited Scroll like that why, again. Why sh- mm. why should he not be? Right. And that's uh, mm. Go Bears. Yeah, there we go, man. And that you know what? That's a perfect way to end it. Go Bears. Um, again, I said this in the beginning of the show, but check us out on YouTube. And if you are watching on YouTube, drop a like, a comment, and a sub to the Most Valuable Podcast page. We just hit over 10,000 followers thanks to you. Absolutely. So, thanks thank to you. you. Thank you for even watching Yeah, us. thank you for watching us. Um, if you're listening on iTunes, drop us a five-star rating. Throw a comment in there. We will try to comment the best we will, that we can to And that. if you've seen on the I last don't video, we to comment on iTunes. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. We'll okay. call you. Yeah. Oh, we'll be like, hey, what's going on, man? Leave yeah, your number below it. Hey, no, there you go. Yeah, leave your number. We'll call you. I don't. I'm not really sure. No, we won't. But <laughs> if you want an awesome T-shirt that me and uh, the me juice, and juice man, man are wearing right here, you go to mostvaluablepodcast.com. We will have our bios up shortly. We took some awesome headshots today we for did. that. Um, you know, you go there, you order a T-shirt, and then uh, patreon.com slash mostvaluablepodcast. If you would like to go donate to our cause, man, maybe help help us out with, you know, if you want better equipment, if you want to see different things that we're not doing, you know, uh, me and we will tell you this one thing. We're not going to tell you what our sponsor may be if it ever happens. If it doesn't, all right. But um, Juice and I are going to be, uh, you know, trying to get some um, mics in here, like actual yeah. nice mics where we both have the, you know, the whole headphone set, kind of like a Joe Rogan kind a of thing. step up from the whole Burger King yeah. uh, behind it, eating Whoppers. Though this is a great mic and it, it serves its purpose, but we feel like this can become something thanks to you and thanks to all the feedback that we have gotten through and this join whole the Army ordeal. early because, yeah. you know, the you podcast don't want to end up being Army. like, while we're like a million viewers and like... And we can't respond. And then you're a Seahawks fan. And you know, you're just jumping on the 12th man at that point. Did you just rip Tony's brother? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> Andrew, you're the man. Yeah, little but uh, dab. little dab. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, you know, we thank you for everything, and you know, Absolutely. if you can check out all those, all that stuff that I just plugged. Also, I'm gonna plug this real quick, and I promise I do it after every podcast for right now. Thank you for the intro song from Circus Survive. 
your champion Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, that's where they're Pains from. Me every time. Yeah, it's all right, but they're a great band. No, man. they tattooed are tattooed all over. Listen me. to them all week on the way to Indy this week. Absolutely while I was great band. Um, we would also like to thank Bull Scripted for tweeting us out and telling people to be on the lookout look out for us. So if and you, our boy Ed Werder. Oh, oh yeah, I was gonna get to him in a minute, but also at Three Guys Sports who also tweeted us out oh, to everybody. Yeah. Um, if you guys can go follow them at Bulls, sorry, three at guys. three guys, three guys sports, sports are just it's as cool as Ed Werder. Absolutely. But today, Ed Werder, or I'm sorry, not today, but two days ago, Ed yeah, Werder tweeted days. us out. And uh, if you're he, new to the podcast because of Ed Werder, comment below. Yeah, seriously, comment and below. And say, hey, Ed Werder is my guy. Like, I'll tell you guys something right now. If when we're tailgating at Soldier Field and you drop one of them comments in there that we're here because of Ed Werder and you're from Chicago. Come on through. We got beers, we got burgers. ribs, burgers, beers, whatever you want waiting for you. Just let us know so we can bring enough. But uh, as for my man Juice, we're going to leave off like last time. As for my man Juice here, I am Buzz. This was the Outcast with Buzz and Juice. Thank you, uh, Revolution, for making great beer. Absolutely. And uh, thank you, everybody else, for watching. And we uh, will be back next week with episode three. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet, but we'll figure it out. If you want to throw us some ideas, let us know. But for us, that's it for now, man. Peace. Oh,